wannabes. How are you? Uh, so, I'm on the struggle bus a little bit. Oh, and I apparently have forgotten how to drive because I haven't been driving my car in quite a while. <clears throat> um, I have nowhere to go. <laughs> so, there's that. <clears throat> um, so I went and I ordered those snap together shelves. <sighs> it told me it was supposed to be here a few days ago. And nope. So I called um, Walmart Canada and went WTF. <sighs> she said, I gave her the order number and I gave her the address and I gave her my name. <clears throat> You'd think that they would have been able to find my order with that information. Nope. She said, the name on that order is not the name that you gave me. I'm like, excuse me? And I thought, okay, well, maybe it's under my maiden name then. So I said, okay, it's Sandy Clark. Nope. I'm like, nope. What do you mean? No. Um, she says, what was the name on the card? So I told her. She said, nope. I was like, what are you talking about? I said, it's obviously my order. I know what my name is. Um, <clears throat> she, she says, it's that's not the name on the order. I'm like, what kind of incompetence like I oh I went I saw red and I says are you guys a scam like is that what this is that walmart.ca is a, is a scam is that what you're telling me because you guys took my money out of my card or out of the card and now you say that I can't get into that account because you guys got my name wrong. I'm thinking flashback, flashback um, to when my ex did a fraudulent account with Roger's cell phone and screwed my credit rating so badly that I have never been able to get a credit card. I've never been able to get credit. I'm at baseline now, but that, I mean, that was 15 years ago and I'm still having credit problems because of it. <clears throat> and same thing. I called them and I said, look, this is a fraudulent account. I just want to pay it off so it doesn't go on my credit or whatever. They asked me for my information and they said, sorry, that's the wrong information on this account. I thought, oh my God. So they wouldn't let me pay the $500 or whatever it was back then because my birth date was wrong on the account. So I'm getting this vibe again <laughs> and I'm losing my mind. Absolutely losing my, my mind. <laughs> Excuse me. So I went off on her. I ended up hanging up on her. And so, anyways, uh, I digress. Um, I'm getting tired of waiting, and we're going to look at the credit card and see if it actually came off the credit card. <clears throat> and then, yeah, and then just wait and see what happens. Because the, the actual website says order or uh, shipping delayed or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm tired of waiting because I need to get this room finished. Excuse me, my yarn room finished. <clears throat> get my yarn up, then I'll feel better, and then I can start doing what I need to do. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I can start doing what I need to do <clears throat> in that room. So, did I say how much I hate Walmart? I hate them with a passion. Passion. Um, I hate going there. I almost got into a fight with a freaking tween. Or no, she was a she had to have been about 18 or something. 
my sister was with me. I, almost, I think I did a video on it. I almost got into a fight with her, like fist fight. Oh, it was bad. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and every time I go to Walmart, it's just something goes on. I can't deal with Walmart. Um, and now their their website. I can't even shop on their website. So, but I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> oh my God! Maybe I should go to Canadian Tire instead. Did I already pass Canadian Tire? No, I didn't. I wonder if they'd have anything at Canadian Tire. The problem is, is that it would end up being way more money. I don't know. Maybe I should go check them out and save my soul from Walmart. Because, oh, I can't stand going there. I hate everything about it. I mean, my ex that did the fraudulent account, he used to work in front of Walmart, like he used to wash cars in the parking lot. So every time I go there, I keep thinking, am I going to see him? Last time I saw him there, it was a bad, bad scene. Um, that was years ago when I just started seeing George. And I ended up slapping him across the face right in the middle of the parking lot. And so it brings up a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. So I avoid the place at all costs if I can. So, yes, I'm going to go to Canadian Tire first and see if I can find something. Because I'm tired of waiting for this. And I, it's like, no, i got to get this done. So let's go to Canadian Tire. want to get another bookshelf there where I have to put it together. So I guess it's Walmart we go. Oh save me. So, I break Walmart for nothing. They don't even have anything. Walmart has gone downhill so bad. So bad. I mean, they weren't great to begin with. But now, they are bad. They've rearranged everything. You can't find a damn thing. <sighs> Ridiculous. So now... I don't know what I'm going to do. Ugh.
Burnaby's. So I'm back home. I went and drowned my sorrows in a bowl of Vietnamese soup. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and I also drowned my sorrows in Michael's. So I was, I, I was looking for the mystical yarn. Found it. Couldn't decide on which ones I wanted. Uh, so I got one of the purple. And I thought, well, that'll make a pretty dragon. Yeah. So I thought, okay, well, I think I should be able to get most of a dragon out of one. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Because the <clears throat> the chenille home slim, I think I only used one for a dragon. This is thinner, so the dragon will probably come out smaller. So I don't know. But anyway, and then I noticed that they had new latte colors that I hadn't seen. Mm. Uh, so I got one of each of these. Ooh. And I mean, this one I love, absolutely love. Absolutely. I mean, the copper in that is absolutely stunning. Love it, love it, love it. I just can't get over that. Oh, and then I got something. Oh, before I start that, hang on, let me getting off track. I wanted to make a sweater with like I usually do with two different colors, right? So I got this is the Loops and Threads Soft Classic that took place of the Michaels basic yarn. Anyway, um, so I was looking at this and I was going, okay, what color will go with that? And I saw this. So you guys tell me, do you, do you think that'll go nice? Oops. I, I think it will. Because this color, right, let's see if I can pull this up without the whole, the cake all falling apart on me. Oh, I gotta put these down. This color here and this color here are pretty dang close, right? So I'm thinking, hmm, that might just work. I'm excited about that. Might be a tutorial, just saying. Uh, and then this is a color that I would never have thought that I would ever buy. But for some reason, as soon as I saw it, I thought of Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. And she just got a diamond painting from one of her subscribers that was Frankie. Like, like you know, Frankie. What do you want? <clears throat> like Frankenstein? So. I was just like, oh, yeah. Okay, that's, mm hmm yeah, that's, that's definitely a Frankenstein color. And then I thought, what can I put with it? And I had a really hard time with this. But I found this. I pulled this color out. And it's similar. It, in the camera, it doesn't look, hmm. In the camera, it doesn't look close, but I mean, oops, the color in the latte is a bit lighter. This is not coming out the right color on camera. But anyways, I thought that maybe that would go pretty good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I don't know. This, of course, will be the accent color. Um... Yeah, I thought, well, I don't it'll pull this color out of the yarn because there's there's like one one row or one section here and then there's another section here. But the majority of it I think is all the greens. I think that's those two sections are the only sections that have that color. But I wanted to pull that color out, otherwise it's gonna look kind of weird. It's just gonna be random 
bluey green, you know, that comes out of the sweater. So I thought I'm going to pull that color out and kind of drown this color a little bit. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I got a couple of those. And of course, when I asked her, I says, do you only have two of these? She's like, actually, we've got six more, but we just got our shipment in today and we are unboxing it right now. And I can't, don't know where it is. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll, uh, I'll just come back when I need it. <laughs> and then it won't be there because you know, Michael's right. So anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, I thought I wouldn't mind. I keep saying this, you know, um, I wouldn't mind doing a tutorial or something. I also want to do for the members, I really want to do a crochet along. I've never done one. I've never even participated in one. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Right. And speaking of my members, I got a bone to pick with you guys. I'm noticing in, I put a video out to you guys about um, an idea that I had. And I'm not hearing, I've, I heard from like three people. I've got 15 members. Where are you guys? <laughs> like, I, I need you guys to comment and tell me what you guys think. Um, and kind of get involved in the conversation going in my members group. Uh, when I put my, my giveaway on my members group, everybody got involved. <laughs> it's like, okay, I know you're there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I thought that was kind of funny. But anyways, um, yeah, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll do some sort of a um, crochet along, like for a, a wearable uh, in my members group. And then I will do some sort of a tutorial on my channel. That's my thought. Uh, my surgery is coming up pretty quick. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen after that, you guys. I'm really nervous about it. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people that have hernia surgery go, oh, it's fine. You know, you're a week or two or whatever. Well, mine's a little more extensive than just a hernia surgery. So I'm really nervous. But um, yeah. Yeah. So I have no idea what I'm physically going to be like afterwards. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit long enough to do a tutorial, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of things in my head that I'm got. I'm kind of going, all right, well, I want to do this, 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 and, and I, there's just not enough hours in the day. <laughs> I just, there is not enough hours in the day. I'm working on my website right now. Actually, that reminds me, my website should be, um, connected today. Uh, the issue that I'm having with my website now is the shipping aspect of it. I have some stuff up there and I'm going, I don't know how to do the shipping because like with Etsy, it's like, I, I didn't have any shipping fees on there. I just, you know, um, it, it was, uh, for patterns, right? So <clears throat> with this, it's a little bit different. So I have no idea where people that are going to be buying live. So in order for me to figure out the shipping, it's a little difficult. I've never had to do this before. Uh, I've always sold at craft fairs or um, people have contacted me and I've found out where they live and then I go and find out how much the shipping is going to be and then I just send them the bill. But this is different. So I'm confused. I don't know what to do about it. Um, unless I do small things and then just come on my channel and say, Hey, this big thing is for sale, <laughs> you know, like a sweater or something. It's for sale. Contact me through my email. Um, you know, and then we can, I can tell you how much it is and, and all that. Uh, but my website is, it's a little bit different and it, it's kind of freaking me out because I know that shipping is expensive 
And in order for me to sell, like I say, a dragon, like, I don't know about the shipping, you know? So, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I may have to rethink my website. But anyways, my website is going to be crochetacanada.ca. Um, but yeah, but I've got ideas on for on there. <clears throat> anyway, um, but yeah, anyways, I, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. <laughs> All right. I've got a sweater I'm still working on. I'm doing the sleeves right now. And those cabinets still haven't come. And I, I'm, uh, let me get fun or, uh, so now I'm looking on Amazon, uh, because there was nothing at Walmart. There was nothing at Canadian Tire. So yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> what in the name of all that's holy is this? My shelves showed up. What the... Oh. You've got to be kidding me. These are like... Oh, these aren't even real metal. These are like little plastic things. And the shelving part is... Like thin plastic, like curtain material. Like a shower curtain material. It's not even shower curtain material. Shower, shower curtain material is even thinner. Or, I mean, thicker. Like, what? Oh. I paid $80 for those two? What the hell? I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever. both done. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. But we'll see how they work. <laughs> <laughs>